Good morning, guys. So today what we're going to be working with is going to be on getting started with geometry, geometric terms, and geometric figures, right? Because there are a bunch. And before we actually start working with geometry and going into it, we need to learn the basics. So what the basics are for geometric figures, there are going to be certain things that you're going to see all the time throughout the year that you just have to get used to. And one of them, the most basic, would be this. That would be a point, right? And all a point is, a lot of people call it a dot, it's just an expressive point. So if you were to see something like this, that would literally be called point A, right? Point A. And that's all a point is. It's just a point that has a term for it. So we have something called a point, but then we have other terms, and it's three that are actually significant. It's one that's called a line, right? one that's called a line, one that's called a segment, and one that's called a ray. And some of you may have actually heard of these already before in the past. They are all completely different, and it is important to actually know what the differences of all of them are. So what a line is, and whenever you guys see a line, a line is always something that never ends, right? It has two points that we usually focus on, right? We'll call them points C and D. And what we know about a line is it never ends. So since it never ends, that's why we have two arrows, because it goes on forever in the left direction, it goes on forever in the right direction. So whenever you guys are talking about a line, it's something that never ends in both directions, and a line always has two arrows. The two arrows tell you that it goes on forever in both directions. And what these points here are used for, it's literally to label it. So when you see that, you would literally call it line CD, or you would call it line DC. Doesn't matter the order. And instead of actually writing it, so you can call it CD, or you can call it DC, right? Because the order doesn't matter for that because it goes either left to right or it goes right to left. We don't know. All we know is that a line never ends in both directions. And so we don't have to keep writing the word line all the time. What we can draw is literally a small line on top of each, right? And that's a line because it has two arrows that never ends. That's a line because it has two arrows that never ends. So when you see that, it's called line CD or line DC. Doesn't matter the order. When it comes to a segment, now, a segment is different because what a segment is, is a part. So since it's a part, it never goes on forever. It doesn't go on in both directions forever. It literally starts at a point and it stops at a point. So the major difference right there already between a line and a segment is that a line goes on forever and a segment stops. A segment has no arrows whatsoever. So now again, if we were to see a segment, let's say, and let me use a different color just so you guys can see it better. Let me just erase this and put it in a different color for a second. So again, a segment never ends. It never, it, sorry. A segment always ends. It never goes on forever. And it has two endpoints. We call them endpoints because they're literally points on the end, right? And the segment has no arrows. So now if you were to see this segment, that would have, let's say, F and H, again, we know it's a segment because it ends, it has no arrows, and for a segment, you can call it either segment FH, right? Or you can call it segment HF. Because again, the order never matters. That is, you can either go from left to right, or you can go right to left. So we can call it FH. Let's not forget the segment on top to let you know it's a segment. Or you can call it HF. Either way, go one way or the other. And so again, when you start seeing this over here, guys, just already realize the main difference. A line has two arrows and never ends, right? A segment has no arrows and it always ends. A segment ends, a line never ends in both directions. And again, line has arrows, right? A segment has no arrows, it just has endpoints to show you it stops. A ray is different from everything else because what a ray has is a ray is almost a combination of the two, right? So with a ray, think of almost a sun, right? You have the sun. Let's say the sun starts right there. And all the light that comes from the sun goes only in one direction, right? So if you have the sun right there, the light's going every way else, right? It's, every, it's going in every single direction. 
And that's what a ray is. A ray is literally a figure that starts at one point and it goes on forever in the others. Let's give the two points. And again, we always put the points just to show you that we have two we have two points on every single figure just so we can label it, right? So again, a line has two arrows and it goes on forever in both directions. A segment has no arrows, so a segment stops. And a ray has a starting point and then it goes on forever in one direction. So if it helps you guys to see it, a line has two arrows that goes on forever. A segment has no arrows, so it stops. And a ray has one arrow, so it goes on forever in one direction. So now if we were to call this, let's say, M, and we were to call this P, right? This is now where you have to be careful because with a ray, all the other ones, we could have called it two things because there was, no, there was nowhere where it told you you were starting or where you were stopping. So you could have started here, C, and gone to B, or you could have started at B. That's why we had two names. Over here, you could have started at either point. It didn't matter. Here, you can't. There's only one way to label a ray. And the reason there's only one way to label a ray is because there's only one starting point. Where do we start? We're literally seeing that the starting point is M because it's telling you it starts at M and it goes on forever to P. So if it starts at M, we always have to make sure we start with M. And so from M to P, that's the only way we can label it because if we look at that, it's telling us it starts at M and it goes on forever in P. Starts at M, goes on forever in P. If now we were to say, let's say, let me write this up here because I don't want you to get confused. Let's say that I were to give you this here. Let's say that we were to do P, M, right? If I were to show you that, you have to be completely careful with this because if I were to have this, what it tells you is it's starting at P and it goes on forever at M and it doesn't. If we were to say it starts at P, it doesn't start at P. That's where it goes on forever. So be careful because if we were to have this, it would look something like this, where it would show you starts at P and it goes on forever at M. And if you look at this and this, they're two completely different things. So always make sure that what you start with is where the starting point is. So since we start at M, we have to make sure that we start with M. If we were to start with P, we would have to start with P. But I want you to see that there are major differences between the two. And again, let me just get rid of this just so you guys don't get confused. So when we actually do our quiz, guys, because your first quiz is going to end up being on either Friday or Monday. If you're an A day, your quiz is going to be on Friday. If you're on a B day, your quiz is going to be on Monday. Whatever the day for the quiz is gonna be, guys, just if one of the questions you're gonna have on it, it's gonna ask you directly, what's the difference between a line and a segment? And just always know, a line goes on forever in both directions, but a segment doesn't. Always, a line goes on in both, segment stops in both, and a ray goes on forever in one direction. So again, hopefully you guys are seeing that. The only one that's different is a ray because where we can label everything twice, a ray we can only label once because we have to start with the starting point. So again, let me just show you all this just to make sure that you guys see the difference. So if I were to use, let's say, this. If I were to ask you guys what this is, we automatically know that that's a line, right? And we know that that's a line just because with a line, it goes on forever both directions, right? So if that's a line, and I were to do this, let's say, we can call it two things. We can call it either line AG, or we can call it line GA. It doesn't matter with a line. Just know with a line, it goes on forever both directions, and it has two arrows. If I were to do, let's say, this, right? We know that that's gonna be a ray. And the reason that we know it's a ray, it has a starting point and it goes on forever in one direction. So if I were to call this BA, and I'm doing this on purpose, if I were to do B and A, we know that the only way we can label this ray is going to be BA. And the only reason that we can label it BA is because we start at B and we go on forever to A. So if we start at B, we got to start at B. If I were to do something along the lines of 
If I were to give you something along the lines of this, always be careful. It doesn't matter the direction. You always have to follow the starting point. Again, we know that that's a ray. Okay? We know it's a ray because it has a starting point and it goes on forever in one direction. If I were to call this E and I were to call this F, we know that in order to label this ray, we would have to start with point F. And we have to start with F because that's our starting point. And then since it goes on forever to E, E would come last. Always remember, with the ray, you always start with the starting point, F, E, because it goes towards E, goes towards E. And then again, when it comes to, if I were to just get rid of that, let's say, okay? Now, if I had no arrows, what that would be is a segment. And we know that that's a segment just because, again, it has no arrows, a segment stops and starts, and again, never goes on forever. So a segment always stops. So if that was a segment, we can call it EF, or we can call it FE, one of those two. Okay? And those are the main ideas behind literally lines, rays, and segments. And then there's three other things i got to show you guys. Then we have something called a plane. Right? We have something called a plane. And what a plane is, it's just any flat surface, anything. It doesn't have to look like this, it typically does, but a plane is just any flat surface, which we call two-dimensional. And that flat surface is where you have a bunch of points, lines, rays, segments, all of that. So a plane, again, it's something that's flat and never ends. Never ends in any direction, guys, in any direction. It just goes on forever. So again, it's hard to imagine, but basically think of a plane as being something flat, goes on forever this way, forever this way, forever that way, forever this way. And again, on a plane, you'll usually see everything. You'll see a combination of points, you'll see a combination of lines and everything like that. You'll see rays, again, you'll see segments. That's all a plane is used for. It's just a flat surface where we literally have a bunch of geometric figures on it. And then again, we have all that, and then we have things where sometimes it can be outside, let's say. And I'm putting this here specifically for a reason, just because there is gonna be a definition that we're gonna get to right now just to show you. And again, so all the plane is, it's just a flat surface where you have all of these figures from geometry, and it never ends, ever. Two definitions that I need to get to with you guys, just to show you what they are. One of them is called collinear points, okay? And again, they sound complicated, but it's actually quite easy. Collinear points. We have collinear points, and then we have another term called coplanar points, but we'll get to that. And so what coplanar point, collinear points are, it's points, I don't know if you hear it in the word collinear, you hear the word line. So all collinear points are, are points that are on the same line. Points on the same line. And I'll show you what that means. On the same line. And so when you think of collinear points, don't think that it has to be a line, just a line, because it doesn't. Collinear points could be points that are on the same segment, could be points that are on the same right. Collinear just means that it has to be on the same straight line. So if I were to give you, let's say, this, okay? And I were to put all three of those points, right? If I were to see that, all three of those points would be collinear. And the reason that all three of those points are collinear, it's because there are three points that are all on the same line, all of them. If I were to give you, let's say, this, Okay. If that was F, this was X, this was T, let's say. All three of those points, they would all be considered collinear. And again, even though it's not a line, we know it's collinear because it's three points all on the same straight line. Even though it's not a line, again, it's still a straight figure. So collinear, it's a... Uh, it's points that are on the same straight figure. Don't get so hung up on the word line. As long as it's on a straight figure, 
it's collinear automatically. What something that's not collinear is, let's say that we were to have this, okay? And again, when you think of collinear, it means that it has to be on the same straight line, same straight figure. If I were to do this, what we now see is these three points are not collinear. And the reason that they're not collinear, it's because it's not on the same line. Remember, for it to be collinear, all the points have to be on a straight edge. And since this isn't straight, since all three of those points are not straight, that's why it's not collinear. Collinear has to be on the same straight line, the same straight edge. If they're all on the same straight edge, it's collinear. Straight edge, collinear. If it's not on a straight line, it's not collinear. Just realize that. So that's all collinear means, on the same line. Same straight figure. The last thing we gotta get to is coplanar. And what coplanar means is coplanar points. And again, you can probably hear the word in coplanar. Coplanar points are points that are on the same plane, okay? Points that are on the same plane. Points on the same plane. And again, that's all coplanar means. So like if we were to see a plane over here, right? If we were to see all those points, we have this here, we have this point there, let's say F, let's call that G. And then again, we could even make this a line right there. Make this A, make this B. If we were to take a look at that, we know that all three of those, all four of those points, all four of those points are all coplanar. And we know that they're all coplanar because it's four points that are all inside the same plane, all of them. So if they're all inside the same plane, they're coplanar. The difference between that is now, if I were to give you something that looks like this, okay? And this is where you gotta be careful. So this, we know that that's coplanar, right? If I were to give you something like this now, where I put a point here, I were to put a point here. Let's say I were to put another ray here with two points, right? That's T, that's O, this is R, that's S, doesn't matter. Now, I were to put a point out here, call that G. I were to put another point over here, call that I. We know that some points are coplanar, but as a whole, all of this is not coplanar. All of those points, they are not coplanar. And the reason that all of those are not coplanar, again, talking about all of them. The reason that all of those points are not coplanar is because not all of these points are on the same plane. Not all. So if I were to look at, let's say, points specifically, let's say I were to look at points, point G, I, and let's say T, right? Those three, we know that T, G, and I, we know that they're not coplanar because they're not on the same plane at all. So since they're not on the same plane, T, G, and I, they're not coplanar. If now I were to take points like F, G, up here, and A, right? We know that those three points, F, G, and A, we know that those are coplanar because those three points, F, G, and A, they are on the same plane. So if it's all inside the same plane, it's coplanar. If the points that were given, G, I, T, are not in the same plane, they're not inside, it's not coplanar. And I need you guys to realize that difference. Again, going over everything, guys. And again, I know it's a bunch of terms and everything like that. We'll still be going over in the class with our group discussion and all that. Just realize that you have a line, right? A line never ends in both directions, right? We have a segment, right? And a segment does end, right? So the difference between a line and a segment, a line never ends in both directions, a segment does end in both directions. And then we have what we call a ray, right? And a ray has a starting point and it goes on forever in another one. And the most important thing with this, if that's C and that's A, we would call this ray CA, right? And we call it CA because it starts at C, goes on forever at A. Remember, with a plane, it's a flat surface, never ends, 
and what we use with a plane, it's always literally just to show where we can keep figures and geometry and all that. If we were to have this, let's say, up here, if I were to take those three points, we would say that those three points are collinear because they're on the same line. If I were to have all of these points here, we would call all of those points collinear because they're on the same line. Collinear just means points on the same line or same straight edge. If we were to have something that looks like this, right? All of these points would not be collinear. And the reason those points are not collinear, they're not on the same straight line. Collinear means that it has to be straight. And coplanar points, it means that all of those points have to be on the same plane. So like for example, let me just give you a quick illustration with this. If I were to give you guys this plane, right? Make that T, make this O, make this R, make this S, and then I'll put a point out here. Let's call that point A. So if I were to give you points, if I were to give you points T, O, and R, right? If I were to give you those three points, T, O, and R, those three points we would call coplanar because we're not looking at everything, we're just looking at those three points. And those three points, T, O, and R, those three points are in the same plane. If now I were to look at the points R, if I were to look at the points, sorry about that, if I were to look at the points R, S, and A, if I were to look at those three points, right, R, S, and A, we would say that those points are not coplanar. And the reason that those points are not coplanar, it's because all three of those points, they're not in the same plane. One of them, point A, is outside of the plane. And since they're not all on the same plane, it's not coplanar. Again, guys, hope all this helped. We'll talk about this then.